Hi everybody, in the last video I told you about some details from Kanach PC Hardware's in-depth Intel story and about Intel currently working on a multi-chip module integrating an AMD GPU and a Intel CPU. Yes, again we talk about a GPU or at least very specific GPU tech here and not just plain patent trading like Intel did with Nvidia before. I could imagine that Intel will use AMD's IP in a similar way how they used PowerVR's IP for their Atom CPUs until 2012. So with Kanach PC hardware for the first time we have a second independent source talking about specifics of the AMD Intel deal rumor spread by Kyle Bennett over at hardocp.com some weeks ago. Kyle Bennett, by the way, also talked about more than just patterns. What is important to note here before I go on is that CPC Hardware is one of the world's most credible hardware magazines. Those guys are old, old school tech journalists with many good industry contacts and know their stuff. Also, they are not and never have been in the rumor mill business like Fozilla or WCCF Tech. So their title story is a result of doing about 20 off-record interviews with current and ex-Intel staff in France, Vietnam, Israel and the United States over a period of six months. And this is basically what they discovered. The current CEO, Kursanik, seems to be a disaster and a lot of people at Intel hope that Murti Redunchintala, who came to Intel to correct Kursanik's mistakes, will take over. It seems that under Kursanik, for the first time, Intel will lose its lead in process node and other fields to the competition. Originally, Intel planned to have the 10 nanometer process ready for 2016. Now it looks like that mass production is not going to start before 2018. Also, they are six months behind TSMC in that matter. Also, regarding x86, Intel basically bet on AMD's lack of progress with Zen. And as a consequence, Kaby successor Cannon Lake won't have any big architectural improvements. Also, because of the current CEO's cut in costs and R&D, Intel has a hard time competing with Nvidia in the HPC and deep learning market, a market in which AMD is now in an aspiring position. Another problem seems to be ARM. Intel is panicking that a huge part of the market will move to ARM in the long term, server and client. Especially Apple seems to be a candidate to look further into ARM in the future. So with Murti Redunchintala, a lot of R&D efforts cut by the current CEO have been re-established and some interesting projects have been initiated. One being a hybrid CPU that can execute ARM and x86 code as well as the already talked about AMD, G AMD GPU integration into an MCM. Regarding the whole ARM story, it is maybe important to note that in 2014 AMD announced an ARM-based non-gaming design win integrating ARM cores and a Radeon GPU. Also, under the lead of Jim Keller, besides Zen, AMD was also working on their own all-new ARM core, the AMD K12, which should be ready by now. So, like those Ryzen benchmarks before, I expect this news to spread around slowly too. It is really a shame that today's tech press is just being lazy, waiting for marketing material coming directly for, from company's marketing department. Ganach PC Hardware is a very nice exception and in my opinion you should at least check their Twitter account regularly. Many thanks go out to the Reddit user Dotal Trump for sharing his copy of CPC Hardware's current issue. If you like this content, give it a like and subscribe. If not, do something else.